Hey guys, I uh, <clears throat> I decided to make a video that um, I, I recorded some of Indiana Jones the other day, and I've been meaning to try to make a video for it because it's just a, a poor <laughs> poor quality little clip of Indiana Jones that just blew my mind when I saw it. Um, so I'm gonna try to um, add some something to it because you know that movie was made. I, I didn't even look up when it was made, but it's been around forever. It's a classic, you know, it's it's the Temple of Doom where they're doing the sacrifice. And uh, I never, you know, when, when the Lord opens your eyes to things, you know, you things that used to mean nothing end up meaning quite a bit. You know, it still blows my mind how many people don't, they can't see the stuff, you know. That's why it says, you know, you got to have the eyes to see. You know, like the Lord gives you the eyes. You're asleep, you know, just watching these movies and watching everything around you until you you wake up to the fact that, wow, they've been hiding this stuff in movies and television and everything around us for many years. So I just want to make some connections and uh, try to make the video um, make more sense. So hold on a second. You know, these... These celebrities in this Kali worship, this this Hindu goddess, the mother goddess worship, is just, it's all over the place. You know, you got Shakira, Madonna, Beyonce, Cher, um, Rihanna. They're all doing the, the Kali hands. Cher's even, they're doing the, the devil horns, which I'm probably, I'm sure they're saying uh, that means I love you. But, you know, the devil horns gets played out. You know, it's like people can overdo that. So we won't make much of that. But this is obviously the, the Kali goddess, okay? And they love reenacting this goddess. You know, it's it's pretty bizarre. You know, this is, they, they love Egypt. You know, see the Sphinx on the outfit. Um, uh, Beyonce's acting like Queen Nefertiti uh, here. It's all about e Egypt and, you know, their culture. Again, she's acting, she's being worshipped, you know, by her fans. She's got the, the sun, the sun goddess worship, you know, going on. This is like the, uh, you know, it's unbelievable. This stuff is just hiding right in front of us. You know, Madonna obviously loves to be worshipped. She's got the sphinx heads again, you know, going back to Egypt. You know, I found this this one, this uh, scripture interesting. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. You know, this is all about Egypt. They they love to they love to use the Egyptian symbology. You know, and, and symbols people laugh at the the signs and symbols rule the world. But how did Egypt communicate? Com they communicated with their hieroglyphs, with their imagery, image, imagery, imagery. <laughs> they that's how they communicated. That's how they got their point across. They drew pictures and they they had symbols. You know, and that's what's going on today. And people laugh off the, the puzzle pieces, the imagery. And, uh, you know, this stuff is hiding everywhere. Look at Kali. You know, the two-finger thing I won't get into, but that's significant. Got the, looks like the Hamza hand right there. Now, this is the Simpsons. You know, the doors, Jim Morrison doing the hands. Look at his hand right there. You know, the the Hindu hand signs. Like Obama. Same thing, Kali, God of all things, right? This is blasphemous, man. This is unbelievable. And we just laugh it off like it's no big deal. Jennifer Lopez. They put it on the Empire State Building, you know? The third eye, the tongue, the all-mocking tongue. You know, this is, uh, Kali cuts off heads. That's what she does. Men's heads. You know, Jacob's trouble. Um, a bro another brother in Christ uh, broke down what Jacob's trouble means. It means female rival. 
And what is everything about? Female goddess worship. You know, what is every superhero movie now about? It's about the female um, superhero. Everything's becoming a female spirit, a feminine spirit. And that's why, you know, the transgender movement, everything is about the female spirit. You know, you know, the, the uh, feminist movement, everything is, is rising. Uh, it's getting more intense, you know. Chopping off heads. Why? Why are we obsessed with a, a an idol that's chopping off heads? It has a snake right here. It's got the, you know. <laughs> yeah, these are. There's plenty of statues. I mean, it's not just some fake thing. These are. This is actual Hindu worship. This is. You know, the Beatles went and brought that. They had gurus, and it just, it goes back to the 60s. You know, as things this stuff's been going on for a while, and it's being uh, it's taking over our culture. You know, look at the snake around the neck. I've shown this before. They got the hand sign that all the celebrities use. You know, this is they're showing. You know, they're showing their gods that they worship. You know, this one I found interesting. It's holding these spears, right? And it's got its two its horn fingers out. Who holds a spear that way? You know? It doesn't make any sense holding it like that. Both hands. You know, here again. Here, look at the hands. They're both making that symbol. But, you know, we think it means rock and roll, and we don't ever, you know, consider there's a deeper meaning to these symbols, these signs. Yeah. Look at her, you know. She obviously, you know, thinks she's pretty cool. <laughs> thinks she's worthy of worship. You know, I found this, you know, the Kali is known for, she's a, a, a mother goddess figure who cuts off men's heads. Well, I found this, this verse, it struck me uh, when John the Baptist got beheaded. Um, Mark 6.22. And when the daughter of the said Herodias came in and danced and pleased Herod, and them that sat with him, the king said unto the damsel, Ask of me whatever thou wilt, and I will give it to, give it thee. And he sware unto her, Whatsoever thou shalt ask of me, I will give it to, give it thee unto the half, unto the half, of my kingdom. And she went forth and said unto her mother, What shall I ask? And she said, The head of John the Baptist. And she came in straight away with haste unto the king, and asked, saying, I will thou. I will that thou give me by and by in a charger the head of John the Baptist. And the king was, was exceeding sorry, yet for his oath's sake and for their sakes which sat with him, he would not reject her. And immediately the king sent an executioner and commanded his head to be brought. And he went and beheaded him in prison and brought his head in a charger and gave it to the damsel. And the damsel gave it to her mother. So what are we idolizing a figure that chops off men's heads? You know, this, I just, I don't know about the connection. I found it interesting that, you know, that kind of relates. And I found this, this interesting, uh, Revelation 24, and I saw thrones and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, which had not worshiped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. So, you know, that's what's going to happen eventually, and they're worshiping a deity that chops off men's heads. You know, you got to put the puzzle pieces together at some point. you got to wake up uh, to the bigger picture at play here. We wrestle against spiritual wickedness. These people are simply vessels for this this spirit of disobedience that, that is working through those who don't believe. You know, uh, look at her with her Baphomet ring, Beyonce. Obviously, her doing her little Hindu yoga pose. You know, this is that. You know, Shiva got the snake around her neck. You know, the pitchfork. You know, same thing. I mean, is that's what you is that what you think peace and love is about? Is that that's that's the symbol for peace and love? I mean, that's what people think. This yoga and all this nonsense. It's Eastern mysticism. Empire State Building again. This is outside of CERN, Switzerland. The CERN, the, the Hydrogen Collider. 
who many of you guys I'm sure know about. This is outside the building, an idol of Shiva. Katy Perry. This is what the Hydrant Collider CERN looks like, or supposedly. Who knows what they're doing? They're trying to, you know, ac uh, access different realms, possibly. Nobody knows. I don't get into it too much. It's like Conspiracy Theory 101, you know. Whatever they're doing, it's not good. You can bet. You can bank on that. Beyonce wants to turn the world vegan. You know, kale sweatshirt. Watch this. Wait, oh. Watch this. Go vegan and you could win tickets to Beyonce and Jay-Z concerts for life. You know, why do they want you to go vegan? Well, I find this interesting. It says in the last days they will um, fall for doctrines of devils. And that's that's the verse right before here. I don't know why I didn't add that. But it says, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them, which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. You know, doctrines of devils. These are these are people who are wanting you to go against the word of God. The word of God says eating meat is is good, nothing to be refused. They're going to go opposite. They're going to turn it on its head. They're going to go against the word. They always do. You know, so I just found that those uh, images interesting. I'm going to play the video from Indiana Jones now. Sorry about the quality of this, because I'm recording it off my TV, but I was watching Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and they're worshiping Shiva and Kali when they're doing their sacrifices. And now listen to this kid talk about when you drink the blood, you become like one of them. You're like alive, but dead. It's exactly what, you know, they're doing all that spirit cooking, with the drink in the blood, Marina Abramovich, Lady Gaga, all these people, you know, the Bible talks about drinking blood multiple times in many scriptures. Therefore, you know people are really doing it. And it probably has something to do with demonic possession. It changes them where they become, you know, a different, you know, they have a different spirit running them. And it's probably what's happening in our society in many, uh, through uh, Hollywood, politics, a lot of them, you know. John Podesta, the, the Hillary Clinton emails, all that spirit cooking business. Who knows? But watch this. <laughs> play too much of it because I might get copyright strike. Remember we, uh, the uh, Marina Brahm, uh, they even did the heart thing. Remember we, uh, the uh, Marina Bramovich, um, they did the, uh, the, like the cake cutting of the, the human cake and she, she uh, <laughs> reached up and held up the heart like they do in this movie. I just find it really bizarrely coincidental so i just uh want to make this short video i know it's bad quality on my phone but um found it very interesting so yeah so they, they pull out the man's heart you know they're talking about kali shiva drinking the blood <clears throat> they sacrifice a man pull out his heart you know um that's what they did at the marina abramovich party you know it says leviticus 727 Whosoever soul it be that eateth any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. 
For it is the life of all flesh, the blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh, for the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. And the priest shall burn upon the, the altar. It is the food of the offering made by spire for a sweet savor. All the fat is the Lord's. It shall be perpetual statue, a perpetual statue for your generations throughout all your dwellings, that ye eat neither fat nor blood. So, but that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. But the flesh and life thereof, which is the blood thereof, ye shall not eat. Genesis chapter 9. Only Deuteronomy 12.23 Only be sure that thou eat not the blood, for the blood is the life, and thou mayest not eat the life with the flesh. You know, these children, or these, these satanic ritual abuse children, I mean, this stuff's horrific. Listen to, listen to what these kids do. I mean, these, this stuff really happens. Single day, and how do you do that? School, he comes to our school. Oh, does he? And what does he do at the school? He does set, does sex to us. He, he kills babies there. Right. We eat babies. We drink their blood. Okay. Because this is how we, we do it. So like on Wednesdays, Wednesdays is the the most special, busiest day, is special right. day. Right. Okay. We'll, we'll start. We'll take it little bit by little bit. So. I mean, it's horrific. I hate to even play these videos, but these children, you know, the kids don't make this stuff up. This stuff's biblical, guys. The, the the stuff that these cults are doing through these and abusing these children, this is this is from the Bible. All right, these kids don't know the Bible. You think these kids are conspiracy Beasley theories? Beasley was up commentating, presiding over things. When they dragged onto stage, they dragged a heavily pregnant. You know, listen to these. We have a church, our own big church, and we use it for sex, eating baby, drinking baby's blood. We kill, we sacrifice the baby, we do sex to the babies, we throw the, when we're dancing with the skulls after the babies are what dead. Skulls? What skulls? The baby skulls. We from put, before? Yeah, from before. We put it on. Where did the baby skulls come from? They come from the baby. How do you get them from the baby? We cut the baby's head off, We um, then we clear all the meat from the skulls, and then we um, put all the meat and cook it, sometimes we roast it, sometimes we roast it in the oven, sometimes we put it on a... You told, me that you told me there's some restaurants. Yeah, and there's some restaurants, in the McDonald's in Hampstead, and East Finchley, and East Finchley is a... You know, they go into, like, restaurants and stuff. I don't know about all that, but, you know, some of you may think these people are, these kids are making it up, you know. If you do, so be it. But you know, if you know, anyone who has the ears to hear knows that if it's in the Bible, there's people drinking blood and eating flesh. Cannibalism's in the Bible. And I have a video I'm going to make on that, too. But I don't want to get too far down <clears throat> the, the cannibalism road. But, you know, why are we obsessed with Cali? You know, that, that's what I want to know. Why is everything about Cali and uh, the shadow of Egypt? I just, I, I pray that you, you, you make the connections because Lord Jesus Christ is the only way you're getting out of this horror show. You know, this is, it says, love not the world nor the things that are in the world. This is the world that has been blinded, blinded our minds. We don't even know where we live because these celebrities, these idols, this, this false, you know, entertainment is being used by a different spirit. So uh, I hope you guys are doing well. God bless you.